Snow sculptures, a parade, and a wood splitting competition were all taking place at Nisswa's 27th annual Winter Jubilee over the weekend. On this week's Northwoods Adventure, our Anthony Scott shows us how Nisswa celebrates their winter traditions, both old and new. Get outside. Basically, that's what it's about. Get outside, enjoy winter. Um, we're stuck with it here half the year. We might as well enjoy it. A parade kicked the events off at the Nisswa Winter Jubilee, and families were also building their snow sculptures to decorate the downtown area. We had just kids, we had uh, families, and we had just adults working on them, so they're all real different skill-wise, but they all turned out great. We're just really happy to have them here in town. The Nisswa Chamber used to organize the event, but now it's all done by a group of volunteers who don't want to see the winter celebration go away. The Chamber had it for a couple of years, and the last two years now, it's just been back to a community event where just locals are getting together and making it happen. One event that has stood the test of time is the wood chopping contest. <laughs> and this year's winner split all of his logs in less than two minutes, and he's looking for more competition next year. Setting them up first and trying to set them all up, but there wasn't enough room, so we uh, just set as many up as I could and split them. Come next year and take me on, whoever <laughs> wants to beat 159. And there was a new event at this year's Jubilee called Smoosh Racing, where teams of four strapped together to one pair of skis tried to race around a track. Right, left, right, left. But the first year of Smoosh Racing did not go as planned. You had some problems with the Velcro breaking and rope doesn't really work. It's just, yeah. We only had one board. The, the straps were breaking, but we finished with one board, one guy. We made it through. Smoosh racing isn't going away, however, as they plan to revamp the event for next year. That the weather the last couple weeks being so cold, um, we didn't get out here and test them the way we should have. So we know a lot more about these things now, so they're going to be perfect next year. The Jubilee ended with a night of live music and a fishing contest the next morning. Reporting from Nisswa for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Raffles from the Nisswa Winter Jubilee went to support the Wounded Warrior Project and the Lakes Area Food Shelf. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.